Good afternoon, everyone. Air Race 7 is my name, and on this fine day, I present to you a detailed tutorial on becoming the most feared being in the Team Fortress 2 universe. The pros will be Googling your name every day. New players will see you as the ultimate soldier of destruction. You are a Call of Duty sniper. You've braced through the unforgiving battlefields of Terminal, Wetwork, Firing Range, and Dome, and now you've arrived to conquer the punishing environment of the Gravel Pits. The first step is altering your identity. You need a terrifying name, something that will strike fear into the hearts of anyone who dares to mention it. And there's a simple formula to come up with a perfect identity. Combine any three or four synonyms of the following words together. Kill, headshot, elite, ninja, marijuana, king, or bullet. Then proceed to add random numbers inside it and put two X's on both ends of the name. The name I chose was XXLordKill7Smoker420XX. Perfect. And, what good is any Call of Duty player without the most powerful weapon the game has to offer? You'll need the L118A Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, or as these idiots call it, the Opper Hand, and the silenced MP5K Submachine Gun Folded Stock, or, once again as these idiots call it, the Cleaner's Carbine. And, obviously, no Call of Duty player can go anywhere without his trusty insta-kill knife. Cosmetically, you need to be the most military sniper on the field. Nothing funny, nothing colorful, just desaturated gunmetal gray. As you can see, I use the sniper soul and well-rounded rifleman to make myself look like I'm straight out of Call of Duty. But, for those of you who don't have that specific hat, the proof of purchase works perfectly well as a substitute. Being a Call of Duty sniper comes with a heavy responsibility of allowing no humor or fun into your gameplay. You are absolutely serious and deadly. Since Team Fortress 2 is such a terribly made game, you'll have to accommodate for some of the features it lacks. Firstly, there are no iron sights with any guns and no sprinting, as well as no option to go prone. However, there is a loophole with that. If you jump up and crouch and press the kill bind button at the same time, you will drop to the ground. Unfortunately, shooting people afterwards is a bit of a challenge. Otherwise, you will simply have to go without. But be sure to voice all of your complaints towards the lack of these in the chat. We always want to know how to make this game better. What's more is the fact that headshots aren't a guaranteed kill in this game with the sniper rifle. I know, right? Otherwise, you simply play the game like you would any of the 10 Call of Duty games. Run from vantage point to vantage point constantly. Never stay in the same spot for more than 5 seconds because God knows you could be hit by a ballistic knife or tomahawk any second. Never stop moving. One of the most important things to remember is that your team is none of your concern. Your job is to eliminate those who are a different color than you, much like racism in America since the dawn of time. The rest of your team is obsolete. They're just auto balance bait. Take ammo from NGs, stand in front of friendly snipers, and go for the nearest health kit no matter how much your teammate is hurt. You are a team of one, and you're all that team needs to win. A Call of Duty sniper such as yourself is an elite core, and it should be known that by any slight chance someone manages to kill you, they are most likely aimbotting or being a retarded RPG noob. Call them out every time. We need to keep the game free of douchebags like them so the legitimate, good-natured players like yourself and I aren't cheap-shotted. So, carry your legacy from the battlefields of Rust and Hijack to the world of TF2. Headshot like a male porn star. Body shot like a Machina noob, and if by some strange chance they survive that, finish them off with your silence SMG. Remember, no scopes are even more incredible in this game, so be sure to celebrate each and every one of them as much as you can. It is always worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Area 7 and this has been How to Call of Duty Sniper. I'll be finishing this tutorial off with a pathetic kill montage put to terrible metal.